There's no place I can be since I saw serenity. You can't take the sky from me. Oh, Josh Wheaton, you magnificent bastard. I love you. Hi there. I'm Mike. This is yet another Mike editorial. Um, I'm binge watching Firefly on Netflix as I'm doing laundry. Of course. Um, here's the thing. Binge watching is a major phenomenon now when watching television. It's all thanks to Netflix because before Netflix, there was no such thing as binge watching. I mean, marathoning stuff is, of course, a common thing with movies. Like a movie franchise, you marathon each movie back, 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 back. But uh, before Netflix, that wasn't a thing for television. With television, you know, television would have their shows go weekly and you have to wait to see what happens the next week, you know. But now, nowadays, when a show comes out, like if an, if Netflix sh pushes out a new show, original, all the episodes are up, you watch them whenever you want. Some, some people may watch them, you know, once or twice each episode and then wait, you know, and kind of, you know, casually watch it. But then there's some people who watch this show within maybe a week, maybe a week at most. I mean, that's just crazy. Now, with television, one of the big things that showrunners like to do is have cliffhangers with certain episodes, with storylines. And if you're watching it on regular television, you have to wait for that cliffhanger to be revealed and see what happens to your favorite character. And here's the thing about cliffhangers for people. They get really stressed out thinking about it. If they wait a week, it's like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Is my favorite character gonna die? Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? That's gonna really stress them out by the time they reveal the cliffhanger the following week. With streaming, however, you can just watch the episode lickety split just like that. You know, you don't have to wait for the cliffhanger to unfold. You can just like, they put a cliffhanger, boom, resolve. Just like that, no stress indeed. So it's making television stress-free because binge-watching is easier for the fainted-hearted. By the way, the numbers are in, and 70% of U.S. consumers out there are binge-watching with a total of five episodes per binge-watch session. Oh my god, I couldn't even... Five episodes? I only go through like two, three episodes, tabs on Firefly, and I'm good. Who, who are watching these shows? It's like, I guess you're that anxious to finish up the show. Which brings me to the next point. Before I do that, actually, if you're watching five episodes, most shows, depending on what show you watch, are 30 to 60 minutes. And of course, take it's not that rough number. It's usually like, if it's a... 60 minute show it's like a 40 minute show and if it's like a 30 minute show it's a 20 minute show so that's a lot of time you're wasting <laughs> i mean binge watching wastes time i mean you're like let's say you have a hour of time to kind of not waste but just to fulfill your time so you're not bored you don't have a lot of time to binge watch a lot in an hour so yeah remember what i mentioned about how we need to finish a series once we start binge watching it's all a part of our brain there's a special part of our brain where we get rewarded for doing something completed you know if it's like doing a job doing your homework you get that fulfillment in your brain it's like ah i've done it i've completed it that's the thing with binge watching people who binge watch have that fulfillment in their brain after finishing a show or movie and yes People who watch shows will watch a movie that's kind of recommended in the same genre that the show was in and then go back to a TV show. So they'll have a routine binge watch session of TV, movie, TV, movie, TV, movie. So that's 
that's kind of wow. I mean, those are for people who really have time on their hands. I mean, that's the thing. Binge watching will waste a lot of time, and time time management is key in our life because you've probably seen a video I made before about how electronic media and technology are basically taking over our life and we need to time management our life and our use of it. So for binge watchers out there, it's kind of addictive, you know, you get addicted to binge watching shows on Netflix or whatever streaming site you use. So you really need to get a grasp of self-control when uh, consuming these shows or movies. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, are you gonna really binge watch a whole series? I mean, mind you, Netflix has, I think the top amount of episodes I've seen per season is like 13, which is not bad, but if you're like the average that watches five in a session, that's half, half through the show. I mean, you're gonna watch half a show and then just wait and then continue on some other time? Are you, are you just gonna continue all the way through in one night or even a whole weekend? I just think it's fascinating how binge watching is going to continue in our future because it's just interesting how that just flipped the switch because we had traditional television and now television is going to be changed now thanks to streaming because you can stream any sh almost any show now. You don't have to watch for reruns on TV anymore. You can instantly go on uh, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, or whatever, get your show you want to watch, and binge watch a crap ton of them. I mean, especially seasons. Like, there's fans out there who freaking watch Supernatural, and that's like in their 10th season, I believe? And people are binge watching seasons, seasons, and they're like 26 episodes per season. That, 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 that's like regular television seasons. I mean, yeah, you binge watch regular television <laughs> It's just baffling, all right? I, I mean, I do it too, but that's, I try to moderate it. Like, what's next? I mean, is traditional TV going to die because of streaming television? Is everything going to be online? Is TV going to die because of streaming sites? Only one way to find out in our future. And hopefully robots do not take over the world to, uh, to make us not know about that because, god damn it, we gotta watch our binge-watching shows. We gotta binge-watch our shows before the robots take over. I don't know, it's kind of food for thought because I've been thinking about that lately and, I mean, binge-watching is that massive thing and I just got a little curious. I mean, what do you watch on Netflix? Do, what do you actually use, actually? What streaming site do you use? Do you use Amazon, Hulu? I mean, I, I give people props who actually have Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. I mean, if there's other streaming sites out there, what would you suggest? I mean, Netflix for me is the best, like, hands down. But I guess I'm kind of missing out on the other original shows that Hulu or even freaking Amazon is doing, so... Uh, what do you think about the future of uh, binge-watching? Leave a comment below, and uh, yeah, I'm Mike. This has been Mike's Editorial, and I will see you in the next editorial. Thanks for watching. Adios, amigos!